it's God. We cannot say that it's by our own power or strength, no. It's by the grace of God that we are alive, we are healthy, we are strong. And the first miracle that he did for us today was for us to wake up. Anytime you wake up and you find that you can move your body, that is a very big blessing. Praise God. Yeah. So whenever you wake up every day, every morning when you wake up and you find out that you can move your body, all your body parts are functioning and working, that is the biggest testimony. Because there is nothing you cannot do when you are not healthy. Praise God. So God bless you all. Thank you so much for coming. I will keep appreciating you. And I also kindly request you to share the, share the link to someone. Share the link to your friends. Because you never know. Maybe we are here in this service because of that person that we will invite today. Someone kindly uh, occupy seat 7. Penina, I saw you here. You can take seat 7. Thank you so much. God bless you, Penina. Now, uh, so I welcome you again. I welcome you now officially to the main service. We are here to serve God. We are only here with one agenda. We are only having one purpose, to serve God, nothing else. So I welcome you all to our main service. Uh, this is Speak Light Ministries for our visitors. We love visitors a lot. We love visitors so much. Because the Bible says that a house that is blessed is always having visitors every day. Thank you, Juvel. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, our dad is already in the house. We have to continue. So, uh, um, we are going to start with the testimony. I know that uh, do this way, my, my God have uh, answered some people's prayers. I know that God has done something into someone's life. Uh, and again, another thing I would just like to remind you is that there is no a small testimony. A testimony is a testimony. No matter how big or small it is, as long as God have done it, you have to appreciate God for it. Because maybe that's all, oh, you can see it like it's small. But maybe it's what someone out there is just praying and asking God for. So, it's our time for testimony, kindly. I welcome everybody. Anyone who has a testimony, come, raise up your hand, and I will give, even if you don't have a seat, someone will give you a seat and we will continue. Thank you so much, our sister Gasheri. Kindly unmute and give us your testimony, and God bless you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Sijuika mwana sikika na wasalimu nyote. Pastor tunakusalimia simona niko upade home. Okay, thank you. Kumajina na ito mama of two, ama Gasheri, ama Rose, ni miyoko kana mpeda kristo. Kitu ya kwanza ni shukuru mungu kwa sababu ya mahali na panya kazi. Ni kama ni leta wale wengine Saudi Arabia because God have done me a favor. Na panya kazi masama tatu. That is a big favor, favor, favor from God. Juni na wanuka saa tatu. Minanda kazi saa sita. Na naudi kwa rahabi kesho saa tatu. That's a big favor from God. And I thank God for that one. Tena liwa tumangia na wazazi. Nibani. Na mtoto wangu yule mdogo mwenye alitajwa na Pastor Caleb Margaret lakini siku huita Margaret anaitwa Naomi alibebea sister yake mkubwa Neema kwa sababu sister yake dia alikuwa mgonjwa dia alikuwa na jikuna kuna mwili huyo mdogo akambebea Neema na akaweza kupona na kitijua ni my uncle Daniel Mure ni pastor aliweza kuombea mahali hapa amewachana na maneno ya pobe ya pali ako comfortable kamejisimamisha tena sasa anaweza iti kama naume mmoja anaweza jisimamisha leo ni sijui angeitwa nani sasa ni mtu mwenye msafi sasa amesimama tena mwingine ni John mwenye alisimamia hata John na mwanamke tabiba huyo mwenye anaitwa kama mimi Jerry fedha ya Mungu imewashukia sana 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 hii nami nilikuwa na hati ban yenye haiwezi siku anaweza hadi kupumua na nimeshinda mchana mzima ilianza jana lakini jana saa 
hata dadi yako tuogea mimi nilikona but kwa mkia leo hata chakula zii siku anataka kukula sisikia hadi kukula nasikia tu hati bana ngumu na kifua kabisa inanichoma lakini god have done something na nimepona na najua atazidi kuteda so daddy me go bless you and that amazing to see zoe iliweza kutubariki na kutuponya ili tuweze kuenda bali barikweni sana back to you our sister evangelist wow thank you so very much wow that is a very powerful testimony do you remember that man the day our dad was praying for him do you remember the prophecy imagine a man who was not even yani he was someone i really thank god i thank god and i know that god will continue to move for your uncle and his other brothers i god re- receive all the glory jesus receive all the glory and honor father thank you so much wow that is a very big testimony and the sherry i want to appreciate you because you know there are some people here that even sometimes when that gives them a prophecy and tell them that i uh, please go and uh, when go talk to that person and come back they don't usually do that i thank you so much the sherry you took your time you did follow up that is a, you are that is so nice of you thank you so much and god will continue to bless you i saw pamela was it pamela Yeah. I saw Pamela. Yeah, thank I you so Pamela. much. Welcome my sister. Welcome. Okay, thank you Ms. Evangelist. I thank you so much. I thank God for this time. I don't take it for granted for sure. It has taken the hand of God that has carried us since morning up to here. Let's just glorify God for carrying us. It's not because we are righteous, but it's because the love, the mercy he has to us. First I just want to thank you all for your prayer starting with us in the ministry that we don't see anything but God has done it today that we are alive others are the dead and others are I see you but today we are here just to glorify the name of God my testimony is this I in the morning I went to sleep and when we wake up we just went for intercessory church and I mean, a prayer and when we finished I was like should I sleep or not but before I was like today I want to go to sleep So maybe I, have, I just have to start my my morning calls. And do you know what? Uh, there's a word that came inside of my phone and it came and came but uh, in Isaiah 41 was saying that I fear not for I am with you. So I was like this fear no but I was I'm with you. It's very it's very easy to say on the lips but carry it hand in hand to your battles is very hard. I don't know why but the Bible told me that it's because of the Canary people, those people who don't uh, understand the message of God. So I was like, today I just have to carry this. I don't know why, because even it came with uh, Deuteronomy 36, that one verse six, do not be discouraged. All about fear and the battle of God. So I was like, when I went after like at 9 a.m. in the morning, I went to clean my compound and I uh, have my miss compound, my boss compound, not mine, mine will come in future, don't worry, I receive it. So. Uh, so when uh, I went to clean the compound, I got a very fierce cat, a very big giant cat, and I was like, I've never seen this cat anywhere. But just a day when I was sleeping, I was thinking about this house. I just saw the cat entering, and I'm like, maybe this is not a cat. Maybe yesterday I was just imagining. So I see that cat, and it was very fierce, and it turned to me. It turned to me like nothing, and I ran away. I remember someone telling me, "Do not fear, for I am with you." I was like, this word is what I read. I just, I just read in the morning, and I, I went to call my mom's daughter. to come and uh, take the cat out. The daughter refused to come because Akasema, I've never seen this cat in our compound. What about if you come and harm me? I told myself, I cannot allow to be harmed. But I, they got told me in the morning, that we are not fire with you. I told the girl, I have to go and uh, climb on top of the seat where that uh, Uh, that uh, that cat is under the chair in uh, in our compound we have chairs so that i will be pushing it outside of it and go and open the gate so uh, the moment she just opened the gate i was like boss 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 so it ran away without even having us doing anything to us my dear i was like very happy because for me for sure i fear cats in this house i get a lot of cats giant ones but we don't have they just come to fight us 
they just come to be like, I know this can they come just to make me feel like nothing, but we don't have cards because they are married Pamela, they, he does, she doesn't like cards. She's not aware of cards from Kenya. I told them in Kenya we don't have cards in our family, so you can't bring cards here. But that, this cat I've never seen it anywhere. Even the girl told me she has never seen this cat and we managed, we managed to take it out of our compound. I'm happy guys. I've never seen this guy like nothing. My second testimony is that these things are it's working. The days your prayer is working. I told you guys that I was not even able to join you in lunch shower or at 8 p.m. on service because yeah, it was not easy. I could just come home and take a seat, sit and go continue with my work. But like yesterday and today I managed to stay uh, to attend lunch hour service. I managed to attend today's service and I'm here guys. You no, know, it is working guys, it's working for me, it's working. I used to cry in the morning, guys, who those who are attending uh, uh, morning glory, I used to tell you that I don't have time even to come and stand in lunch hour. You know guys, I'm tight and I guess I just have to be there feeling a silent but I don't know what is happening. But I thank God that I am I have started getting time. You know tomorrow maybe tomorrow and tomorrow God will work for me and all, everything will just be okay. I thank God that I can attend the service is now it says you know the devil is a liar it cannot bring me down for I carry God that is said we are the anointed one we are the chosen one to be blessed guys wow I bless the name of the Lord for those two powerful testimonies thank you so much my sister Pamela indeed you are a testimony yourself Caroline Jeshi is saying, I have a testimony for my mother. She is healed. She don't have that pain in her chest. Glory to Jesus. Dad, thank you for your prayers and be blessed. Wow. That is powerful. That is powerful. Just as our dad always say that distance is not a barrier. You just have faith. You can be in US and someone in Kenya is sick. Just give his or her name to the man of God and believe. Take the faith stand in the like stand in the gap of that person and you will see god move praise god i thank you so much do you have any other testimony can someone take seat number two kindly to avoid confusion in the service yeah uh, do you have any other testimony okay i myself i have a testimony and my testimony is that i thank god for the gift of life that way I can never buy. If it was that every day you pay, then you are given bread just for 24 hours. Then again, tomorrow you pay. Hey, some of us would have died long, long time ago. Because it's like renewing your life. Praise God. Me, I just thank God. I just thank God because of the gift of life. And anytime I see you, my brothers and sisters, I am so happy. I am very happy anytime I see you. Whenever we meet here, I am so happy. Because we are one family in Christ. So let us be our brother and sister's keeper. And God will bless us. So let me take this uh, opportunity to bring some, just a few uh, announcements. And then I will I welcome the speaker of the day. So, so uh, uh Thank you, Pamela. Thank you so much, Caro. God bless you. We understand. So, I, for the visitors that have just joined us today, or maybe yesterday, for those who don't uh, still know how we run our services, so this is how our services are every day, every day in the morning from 5.50 a.m. to 7 a.m. We have our morning glory, our morning devotion here in church. And uh, also from 1 to 2 p.m. every day, we have our lunch, our services, where we are blessed with many men and women of God who are anointed. They give us the best word, words of season. So if you are free, you can join us. And also we have uh, uh, discipleship classes every day from 8 to 9 p.m. And then... We have now the last service, which is the one we have now. We are having now, now the the main service that normally begins from ten 
up to 11 or 11:30 according to how the spirit according to how holy spirit leads us so i welcome you everybody and also right now uh this one was to, uh, i think uh, yeah we ha- there are some uh, rectifications huh? for those people who are supposed to stand in the for the meeting this month so we have postponed there will be no a uh, studio meeting for this month so we were told that every all the people that are remaining eh, all of you will come in the next month of july so just be ready prepare yourself well because you have been given enough time make sure you are heavy and for us who do syndicate we will also come loaded praise god and we all we, we do this for the the opening the grand opening official opening of our studio which will take place on 3rd of September 2023 and will be opened by our grandpa our, our grandpa prophet Kale Bwekesa so we need to prepare ourselves well and also for those people who have not seen our sister chosen you know why we are seeing chosen I cannot say that here we are yeah we are live in Rwanda so I just, I know you understand if you have not seen chosen kindly do so chosen's number is that group of a uh, uh, prophetic encounters group the number is there and also if you need a number maybe and you are not in the group you can just tap on the dp of chosen follow her and she will follow you back or you can tap on the dp of Jackie me all of us here we have the number and we will give you the number and you will send your offering if our dad has ever been a blessing to your life and god will bless you remember you are not giving to please the man of god you are not giving your sacrifices your tithes you are whatever you are giving you are giving to god because the bible commands it biblia ina to command ya kwamba give so that my house will be full of food praise god because if we don't if we don't give The Bible also say, says that don't come to the house of God empty handed. Do you know that squeeze water to mezoya Mungu sana. You can just go to the house of God any anyhow. It's not good. It's not pleasing. Praise God. So make sure that anytime you go to the house of God, at least you are holding something and it through that what you are holding that God will use to bless you. Praise God because God must have something to access to you. That one is a must. So you give to receive. Thank you so much. I think those are our two main announcements. Yeah. Yeah, so if you have not seen chosen kindly do so and uh let everybody everyone who did not stand on the month of uh, uh May. I think you know yourselves. So you just be ready for the next month. And also we have our Zoom meetings with our spiritual father every Thursday and Friday our Instagram lives due to some uh due to some issues right now we are not going live on Instagram but when we resume we will tell you and you will come and join us so we are just having one minute to I'm having only one minute to welcome the preacher of the day I just want you to bring your heart close to God you can just start by thanking God with your own words tell God call God all beautiful names tell God how special God how is just tell God how you are waiting to hear from him give open your heart my sister loven kindly mute my sister thank you so much thank you thank you so much everybody so as i was saying prepare your hearts start thanking God and start telling god god father i am ready i came here expectant and i'm just ready for you to release that word father i am here to receive from you no one has come here we are not here to come we are not here maybe to please people or we didn't just come here for, so that other people or maybe the man of god can see that today grace is present no i came here because i there is something i need from god and i will keep searching for the presence of god until the day i will find it so kindly i want us to pull the best siren ever i want you to pull a siren as i welcome the preacher of the day i want you to pull the siren appreciate 
the people who are always doing all they can to make sure that the work of God is going ahead. I thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. Welcome and welcome and welcome, my sister Jackie Orena, the speaker of today. May you flow under the grace of our dad, Pastor Jephthah Eshwani. Let the anointing of God take over and bless us with God has with what God has put in your heart. Welcome and welcome. You are most welcome in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you so much our sister evangelist for giving me the opportunity. Also acknowledge the man of God for allowing me to use uh, the altar today to re to minister together to share our word. And before I start let's just humble ourselves and pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you, Lord, this evening. Thank you, Lord. Father, we magnify you. We glorify your name, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for who you are to us, Lord, this evening. Father, we put ourselves into our humble hands. Thank you, Father, for you, who you are, Redeemer God. Thank you for helping us, oh God, to be here, to hear your word, that we may be equipped for every, every good work from you, Redeemer God. We thank you, God, for even giving us faith to receive your word, understanding and to know what it means, and the will to put it into practice, Redeemer Father. We thank you. We give you all the glory. May the word be a light to our feet, a light to our path, and strengthen our lives, God. Take us and use the love and serve all every part of us here. Let the Holy Spirit come, Lord, and lead us, and not to our own understanding, by through your Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and believe. Amen. I welcome everybody. I'm so delighted today to be here. And I welcome my sisters uh, to every social media media platforms, those ones who are on TikTok, Facebook, and uh, uh, even who are here in Imo. I thank you so much, and I welcome you all for today's main service. And uh, the main theme for our today's service is conquering the mountain I can, I, I, and uh, I've shared it in our topic so it's our to my topic today is coming out like conquering the mountain and it's going to come from the book of Matthew 21 18 to 22 praise God I don't know if there's somebody who will be in a position to share the word and it goes by this early in the morning as he was on his way back to the city he was hungry Seeing fig tree by the road, he went up to it. He went up to it, but found nothing on it except leaves. When he said to it, "May you never bear fruits again," immediately the tree withered. When the disciples saw this, they were amazed. How did the fig tree wither so quickly? They asked. Jesus replied, "I tell you the truth." If you have faith and do not doubt, not only can you do what was done to the fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and it will be done. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for it in prayer. Praise God. Today, uh, the word is telling us that we have the abilities as Christians. We have opportunities to do something what mountains with in, in any mountain that we face. God wants you to know what it is possible to conquer the mountain in our lives and in a, in a way or another. Every mountain is different. Every mountain is used to God for a different purpose in our lives. So every mountain will be dealt with in a different way. My sister, my brother, today, and this book, I just wanted to share this, our sister, uh, evangelist Grace had the same, uh, almost the same uh, topic in the afternoon lunch hour. And it just moved me that he saw, shared with us and said, if he doesn't know, and I have said, I'm repeating the same, nobody knows the mountain that is ahead of you. I don't know the mountain you have. I don't know the mountain that is facing on you. So this evening, some mountains are dealt with them, moving them out by your way out your way. Praise God. In the book of Matthew, we can see uh, that it suggested that there are some ways whereby you find uh, it, there are some ways we, we can move away the mountain. One is by you speak to the mountain. Praise God. Instead of talking about the problems we have, 
we have to we, we need to talk to them in the book of matthew it says i tell you the truth if you have faith and do not doubt not only can you do what was done to the fig tree praise god but also you can say to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and it will be done we need to get confrontation we need to face the mountains we need to face that problem that obstacle that that problem that is hindering you we need to take the action we need to take action we need to exercise authority that god has given us in our mouth that the word says god has given us authority and he has given us power to declare praise god in the book of first samuel 17 whereby we say we see the shepherd boy david faced mountain praise god the giant goliath along with the philistines army was provoking the israelite army threatening them keeping them daily dealing with fear praise god every day was weak every day was full of anxiety as they put up the goliath constant by bullying him in any manner they could and anyone here i know ever you are dealing with a mountain that presents itself like bullying you making your life miserable this is me making you not to feel that you are worthy again in front of god maybe it's something that it's biting you day by day, by day after day daily the israelites lived afraid that it, this might be a day that they would become slaves of philistines praise god but we see the young david he wasn't in that army yet but he heard about what was going on he knew the threat was real he took the mountain seriously and he knew it had to de- to be dealt with praise god his plan involved a slew sort and sort of some stones but it involved a whole lot more than that praise god David took on Goliath with his words before he ever addressed him with a weapon. Praise God. We can see in the book of Samuel 17:14 to 50. It says meanwhile the Philistines with his shield bearer in front of him kept coming closer to David. He looked David over and saw that he was only a boy, ready and handsome, and he despised him. Praise God. He said to David, I am a dog that you can come at me with sticks and the Philistines cast David by his gods praise God he said I'll give you fresh to the birds of air and the beasts of the field David to- said to the Philistines you come against me with sword and spear and javel but I come against you in the name of the Lord almighty praise God the god of the armies of Israel who have who you have defiled this day lord will hand you over to me and i strike you down cut off your head today i will add you the carcass of the philistine army to the birds of air and the beasts of the earth praise god and the whole world will know that there is a god in israel all these gathered were all those gathered there we know that it is not by sword or spear that the lord saves for the battle of the lord and he will only he will all give you into our hands as he philistines moved closer to attack him david ran quickly towards the battle line to meet him reaching into his bag and taking out a stone he slung it and struck the philistines on the forehead the stone sank into his forehead and he fell he fell face down on the ground so david trampled over the philistine with a sling and a stone without a sword in his hand and he struck down the philistine and killed him praise god Now what did David was deliver for us our my sisters and brothers this evening David told the mountain he wasn't going anywhere David told the mountain he will not be defeated David told the mountain it is it was going down David told the mountain the Lord was in charge of this situation and the mountain will never have the last word today I urge you my sisters and brothers today as we are here we know there are so many mountains that we are facing but we can see a David stood 
just upright and was he said he is going to be a conqueror don't david told the mountain he would be victorious praise god i ask every one of us here in whatever mountain that is facing you my sister my brother listen and listen well what do we say oh don't say no into our mountain we will face he will come with a commentary praise god every mountain you come up against will have a big mouth no money for example you can have just say there's so mountain, many mountains you have a dream you as you are growing up you had a dream on whom you want to become but as you have grown you are seeing years and are coming you have not achieved the dream that was your dream and you can see you don't have even money to go to college you don't have anything there's a mountain of sickness in your physical body there's a mountain that says it's getting worse you, you know that there there's addictions all manner of addiction addictions of even drunkenness that addiction of masturbation we and the mountain that will say you can never be free praise god the static force of spirit coming in you saying you will not be free you will never be strong enough you will never come over this mountain again praise god you will always be controlled rather to control it even your past can be mountain praise god you may hear it it like no one will ever love you praise god my sisters and brothers this evening you may become that you have done you may feel that you are done no one ever wants to be to trust in you now that because you are done no one will want to know because of what you have done or because of what you haven't done done to you so many things people can say you can just say to yourself that because somebody maybe you need to quit listening to the mountains this evening and you need to beg the mountains to listen to you praise god god has given you authority he has given you the power to tell the mountains that he, that is facing you to listen to you you need to tell that mountain to be quiet while you are exercising some authority in christ praise god mountains present obstacles for sure i know but they are limited in some way they can only ever be mountains that they are but to you you in particular if you are in Christ they can only ever be the mountains that they are if you are in Christ you can speak to the mountains and see them move away that is if you can come out more than any mountain praise god these are the, there are some things that you can see that impossible within us but there are a possible within with god praise god now we know that not all mountains will move we live long enough to see the truth praise god god has a reason sometimes for letting the mountains remain the way they are reason being maybe we have not aligned our ways we are not doing and walking according to the promise the presence of god but we cry day out day in why am i on this situation why is this not going away you can see we can see ourselves here gathering each and every time we are more committed here every now and again we are in church we are here praying praying listening from classes our daddy preaching for us counseling us prophesying for us but whatever comes out we are not transformed praise god if we want mountains to move away on their own they cannot praise god god has a reason sometimes for letting the mountains remain but one thing is for sure i can tell you they never remove go away if you want to guarantee your mountain will stay in your way praise god this evening we must conquer them one way or another and the first step to conquer the mountain is to speak it with authority that god has bestowed for us praise god you can be having a many issues sometimes we have doubts we pray today and we want something we have prayed for that day to happen the way we have prayed we have fear we have fear in us we there is that fear that is getting behind our name we can have sickness you won't define who you are 
Praise God. We have financial difficulties that won't let us rob, which is has robbed our joy. Praise God. And we, we have the addictions that we won't let any, anything just go out of us because we are so doubtful. We have fear. We have no faith that who we pray, our God, we say we carry God, my sisters. But the next minute what comes on your way, you feel that you have now you say you are finished. But the God we carry, the God we proclaim is not with us. Praise God. We need to talk the mountains. We can notice that David didn't just start just spouting out God like that. But he shouted out things about God and how God was going to gain the victory, how God was going to be glorified, how God will supply the victory. Praise God. We must never think that our words or our name, like my name, Jackie, or our authority carries anyway. Praise God. But you always speak out about God gaining glory and God doing the mountain moving out in our lives. Praise God. We need to have that addiction. Speaking to the mountains, praise God. In the book of Matthew 24, verse 21, that we need to speak to about, we speak to God about the mountain. Praise God. In verse 22, this, uh, in the Bible, we see, if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Just as David life, where we saw him making sure God was glorified in his words. Praise God. To the mountain man, Goriath. That now, the David, the Goriath was the mountain to David. We also need to make sure that our highest aim isn't moving off our mountain, but the exaltation of God in our lives. We need to exalt our God higher and higher in every minute. Just because we are doing spiritual things doesn't mean we are doing it with the intention of bringing honor to God. Praise God. You may be here in church this evening, not to please or honor God, but to appease someone. Some people have come here just, we are not here just, we have not offered our body, we have not offered our soul fully to our own conscience. But we are here to please so and so I was in church. Why were you not there? We are here. In fact, the way she was preaching, in fact, the way he was giving the announcements, he, we don't do we are not here to please any one of us. Praise God. You may put money in offerings. We can give offerings, but when we have no, when we don't have faith, you want, maybe, sometimes you find in churches like someone wants to go and give an offering and it's just putting uh, maybe a 1,000 note and it's just, it, it, it doesn't, it just want to show each and everybody he's going to give. You can be giving, you can give your money offerings and see it an obligation to you what the person next to you what you are contributing praise God rather than giving according to the scripture to, to glorify God just because a person prays doesn't mean that we are seeking God glory here we are going some people we are hypocrites we are not doing fully according to God we can pray we can sing we can preach but to, to, to an extent if we have no faith if we have not surrendered ourselves fully, we can pray, 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 and nothing happens. Praise God. In the Bible, the, the, the book of Matthew, it says, it, it, we have to set the teachings and disciples of fruits bearing. Jesus cast the fig tree in the book of Matthew, and we can see it was not doing its job. Some of us here, we've been anointed, we have been gifted with different gifts, but we are seated with them. Praise God. We, you can say, me, I can't do that. I can't do that. There's nobody who has been, you want, when you, you, we, we were born, you were not born knowing that this is what you would be doing. But by practice, by having that desire, you can find you have gone so far. God has gifted us with so, so many different gifts and opportunities that he has given us. But you find we are, not, we are not there. We don't want to be used. We don't want to work. We don't want even to give the offering. We don't want to sing. We don't want to be welcoming people. We don't want to pray. And we don't even want to get just, uh, we need not to be part of the blessing to a man of God. Praise God. 
we can see the fig tree was cast and it was not doing its job. It wasn't doing what it has been created to do. Praise God. How many of us here are here doing what God has called us for? We have to ask ourselves, how many of, of us here who are doing what God has called for? The Bible is very clear that we are called to bear fruits. Praise God. In the book of John 15, we are called to bear fruits. People who bear fruits are abiding in Christ. This means that we are living in obedience. People who are binding by Christ, they are living by obedience in Christ and in submission to Him. We have not submitted ourselves. We have not submitted to God. Here we may be saying that fruit bear, uh, we are fruit bearers, and indeed we are not. Our relationship with God is zero. The scripture here teaches us that those who continue to sin, those who continue to disobey God, those who continue to live their lives for themselves, their job and God's ability to produce fruits in and through them, and they disrupt God's ability to hear and answer their prayers. Praise God. Right praying begins with a righteous relationship with God. So this evening we need to have a righteous relationship with God such that when we pray, God hears, hears our prayers. Praise God. Can you imagine, for example, you are, imagine you are walk, walking up in a street and uh, you can maybe you find somebody, a bodyguard, for example, for a president, guard and saying, get out of my way. My dad is a president. Just because your dad is a president, you just want everybody to get out of your way. Do you think they will, be, they will, they will just even do anything? Of course not. They will not. They will not. They know you are an imposter. Like now, you know, Satan is behind many of our mountains we face. Imagine a person who, who isn't a fruit bearer, but says they are Christians trying to tell Satan to get out of their way. Kindly imagine that sentence. Satan is behind many of the mountains we face today. Imagine we are here, we are not bearing any fruits, and we say we are Christians trying to tell Satan to go, get out of our way. It won't work, my sisters and brothers. We shouldn't think we can pray to move, to, to move mountains if we can't even pray to forgive or love one another. First thing of all, praise God. The Bible gives us a, a prescription. It has just given us something to deal with people who hurt or who offend us. We, if we can't just forget it or get over it, we have to go to that person and even explain, Sir, you, you wronged me yesterday, and you just reconcile with your brother. And here the Bible is saying, if, that, if for example, you might find here in church, Somebody has wronged me, or we are, have wronged somebody. Instead, we come in, in harmony. We start back biting, biting behind the tent. And maybe we see, if we see that you, that person, you are unable even to reach him or her, you have to just send, I send Grace, go and tell Joseph, I wronged her. And he don't want to hear. If he doesn't listen, even the Bible says, you have to warn that and even tell that here that so and so is not doing good. Praise God. Instead of just going behind the bus and you are talking all manner of issues, but you find we are not doing so. Praise God. And the Bible uh, condemns that if one of that kind of person just refuses to listen to t we tell the church and if he, he, he refuses then the Bible declares that I tell you that whatever you are bind on earth will bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven again. So the Bible is warning us just to abide by God this evening, for Him to remove all the mountains that are ahead of us, to remove all what is just by biting us day in, day out. We are crying here day and night that God, please, God help me, God heal me, God bless me. Praise God. Praise God, sisters and brothers. 
Not only do we need our prayers to flow from right relationship with God and others, but also we need our prayers to flow out of desire to see God's will to be accomplished. Praise God. If we if the moving of mountain is mountain is in God's will and we are binding in him, for sure, we can be confident that it is good and if every mountain is gone from our life. We must do so by faith. If we believe, we receive whatever we ask for in prayer. In the Bible, the book of Matthew 21, verse 22, right praying with always involve faith. Praise God. Let me give you, like now, we know what faith is. In order to conquer the mountain by moving it out of our way, we first need to speak it to God's authority and speak to God about it, making sure we are right with God, right with others. In the center of God's will, while exercising faith, praise God. Then by doing so, then the mountain will move, praise God. It will remove and go away. And then we are now become the conqueror of the mountains by speaking to it and speaking to God about it. By it, we also conquer the mountain by climbing it, seeing it with, with, with it. Climb every mountain. There is no no povertyness, no sickness, no, we will be overflowed by blessings upon blessings. And then we, God, will move mountains out of our way. And we have seen, we have seen people pray and it happened. We have heard from our service how dad used to pray. Sometimes he has nothing and he prays and he finds money seated. He resting in his coach and he believes. But if you can pray and you don't believe the prayer you have prayed, how then will it happen? It good. But he isn't interested in doing anything. The main goal here is to do what pertains us to do. We have to have faith. No transformation that can happen if we lie, if we don't do and persevere with that faith. Spiritual maturity takes it must to take root, to take the ground. For example, you can't start uh, preparing your land to plant. You prepare, there is no rain, there is no water, there is no, you, you, you have no, you, you, you have no, the material you use, you want to, to plant. Yani, you want something to pray and you want it to happen. You have not prepared your heart. You have no direction. You have no focus. You don't know what you need. And then you want God to remove whatever is in front of you. Maybe sometimes we are so much confused. Then when we pray, we are not sure. You see something comes on our way, we start crying. We start lamenting. We start murmuring. That it has not come. Remember, even the Israelites, they, they persevered for so long. They persevered. And God, all this time they were with, God was with them. And, and he knew how he fought the, that, that wall of Jericho. He was with them. Praise God. We can see from like the from, from the Bible, we can see Joshua, in the book of Joshua 14, 12, where the man of God there called Caleb, not prophet Caleb, but a name Caleb. And now, therefore, it gives a mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the unkind were there, and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. We can see here Caleb was 85 years old when he requested to take on the challenge on the mountain. Praise God. The mountain he set out to take was one he had suffered before. It was the very area that he he and, he, and the, his 11 other spies who suffered 40 years earlier then, according to the word, and no one had uh, disregard, dis, disagreed that the land was exceedingly valuable during then, but only Joshua and Caleb had the courage and faith to believe they could possess it with God's help. Praise God. How many of us who have persevered? You have maybe waited to get married, my sisters, to my brother, to, to, to get married. Ten to three years, you've started to 
manaring wa mai you compare yourself with so and so your colleague and then you find you maybe we are married you find you have no children you are waiting you are lamenting god you start cry you are praying god to help you for a job you are lamenting god i'm in, in church i pray i'm always giving and you are not blessing me with the job you see here Caleb the bible says he was he has he was 85 years old but you find the other colleagues here they despise them but Caleb and Joshua they are the only one out of other 10 who really knew that by God's help they possess the land by the help of God the 10 others who despised despised them and said the mountain was too big some of us we can say whatever problems i have are so much that i cannot bear there's so much in me that i cannot co- con- i cannot hold i better die you start you start just the same things that comes out of your mouth not knowing that you are cursing yourself you are limiting yourself praise god may god forgive us this evening to some extent we have gone beyond even talked something by the word by our mouth that the god the, god, the bible says the word told us tells us that we he has, we have been given authority and the power to speak and ourselves we can be praying and we have cast ourselves and then we have to go back on the drawing board and know just start repenting 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 it might be we we, you are, we are not a blessing one or the other maybe because of me myself He was very disappointed and angry with the Israelites for believing the negative reports of the 10 spies which they were taking and telling him so much so that he decided they would never enter the promised land praise god we can pray yes as a team we have said let's go this direction and you find some of us we have going forward some of us we are pulling backward we are not moving in unity we pray always and say let's go up let's grow as a team as a family but you find we are pulling back and forth so we can see here the man of god Caleb has a different spirit and he flows his spirit was he wanted to follow one heartedly and he would bring, bring him into the land he went to and his descendants who inherited it praise god it doesn't matter how much time has passed my brother my sister how old you are praise god how long you have been waiting god to work for you in that area you want in that thing you want god to do for you if god has given you an inheritance if he has given you a promise start climbing that mountain praise god the victory is yours you are the conqueror you are the conqueror of that mountain god has already proclaimed the mountain belonged to Caleb 40 years area according to the word he was just climbing he was claiming it what was faith right free is praise god it's right it's good for us it's a moment for us to start claiming to start claiming now it never matter the years it never matter matter the years the time we have lived you can see a time maybe you had a dream that a time like now when i'll be i i i'll be in my 40s i could be in my dream house driving my dream car but you haven't got it my sister my 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 brother we can see the man of god Caleb here he continued to believe and have faith in god and just continued to possess and he was claiming it it regardless and we can see from that time Caleb was 40 years when he started and remember how old he is and the time he is it got to be his praise god how do you conquer the mountain by climbing it praise god god says in his word that everything is possible to him who believes praise god according to the bible mark 923 he will live he will never leave you or forsake you on the mountain but he will be with you every step of the way praise god 
you may you are a conqueror you are a conqueror of that mountain by climbing it through the wall hearted redevotion praise god god made his promise to caleb because caleb was committed to god how can god make a promise to us how can he make a promise to you chosen to you grace to you pamela if you are not committed to god you can't tell me that you will be committed to god by even giving your offering only and these other things you are in, in, you are in your other work you can't you need to commit fully to god if it means it's giving just give if we call for prayers in the morning be there for us we be there praying giving us moral support we have to be committed when the man of god we know edmund is coming nobody is there bothering how is he going to pay rent we are not committed to god we can see at the man of god that Caleb he was committed to climbing the mountain he was committed to victory praise god this book of numbers the bible of numbers 14:24 again god said Caleb had a different spirit and followed god who had it mountain climbers do amen today you know when sometimes people go for hiking you know people some of them go hiking hiking and they fail they fail they are exhausted exhausted they can't continue anymore they sit there they wait for those ones who continue to climb the mountain come back that's when he just stand up from where he was sitting and join them meaning they are together but not together praise god they we pray that this evening that something different will happen to us that we have to climb the mountain by faith we can't persuade them to do it but you can confess them praise god it's not difficult it's not difficult our minds are sometimes are made up but they are going no matter what praise god no matter the situation we have to climb that mountain when the mountain doesn't move and you have to make the decision to climb you have to realize you are making a long term decision praise god in fact it is a lifetime decision you have you don't have to start out to climb a mountain or take a mountain and think you are making it to 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 the to the top in a day you can't stand just imagine you are going to mount krimambogo and you start climbing in a day like i think krimambogo is very it's not that much you are talking about devotion they are talking about commitment it's not a short trip my my friends my brothers and sisters wake up and climb the mountain and it won't be without challenges my friends my sisters here listen and listen well when we are climbing mountains you can find some in the mountain because sometimes it's slippery in other way it's it's down it's deep the other one is so steep that you can't climb so remember the challenges you have even if you start this channel of salvation for example we have just to walk with god and we find we are some challenges come in obstacles this differences come in and you have to make up your mind ahead of time to take whatever the mountain involves and it is never over in a hurry praise god you need not to hurry you need to know even if you have started to take this route by the way when we, the day we started to say we are born again that is the moment we started the fight that's the moment we started having battles praise god and then you say then when you compare yourself you are born again you are here in prayers you are always there but you see a drunken man out there he comes he knocks the door at, at five he is coming from drinking he's driving he has money the children are going well to school and you are like why am i suffering this much with this salvation and you find people out there are enjoying life praise god praise god sisters and brothers we know and we have seen too many people turn to christ because they think that he promises the easy way out there is no easy way out that's not the case my sisters that we may, we may be many people start climbing with jesus but we quit when the way gets steep praise god the you find you are devoted your heart you have really said i've i've left everything i've the addiction of maybe going out to doing some manner of things 
the addiction of masturbation, the addiction of drunkardness, the, the addiction of even just go just you know all those bad things, you can name them. But if you are not devoted, if you have not decided, if you are not what heartedly devoted to Jesus, you will never make it to the top of the mountain. So it's good that we understand this evening that we need to have to be devoted. Some of us sometimes we got discouraged and quit. Jesus did it just to move the mountain out of our way, like you have you maybe you can want you you want yourself. You have to pray. And you did you maybe sometimes some some of us you have we have given up. Even we, we don't see whether how we are going to make it. Some of us here in this evening we need to make up our mind that the inheritance is worthy the climb. Praise God. The victory is worthy the effort. Praise God. For some of us we need to declare this evening that give me this mountain. That this mountain is mine and God is going to help me. Speaking, praying, climbing can literally change the landscape of your life. You can decide now and all will be well. Praise God. You have to know that you will never ever feel like you are unable to cope with the challenges that are in front of you. Praise God. You, God himself, he will go before you. He will level the mountains ahead of you. He will break down the gates that is not with the gates that are closed ahead of you. He will cut through the bars of iron. He will make the rough places smooth and he will make the cross places straight. Praise God. According to the book of Isaiah 42, verse 2, I will go before you and make the crooked place straight. Praise God. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, my sisters and brothers. For giving me this opportunity and for sharing this word. Remember, climbing the mountain is not easy. It has forests, it is slippery, it has all manner of issues. But I believe this evening, when we stood, we stand and we are here to help each other, to just be support, to support, we be support system of one another. That when you see me going astray, just make me and she called me, Jack, where are you? Where are you? I've not seen you in church. Some of us, we don't bother even looking for our sisters or brothers, but let's just move as a team. We are here to pray. We are here to be who God wants us to become. It's late. It's not late. We can see. And let me re remind you, we have been told that Caleb, he was expecting to possess the land 40 years back. But he was at 85. That's when God just gave him the promised land where he wanted to land. And by that many remarks, may God bless you. I now welcome the man of God. Kindly, let's appreciate the man of God, welcome the man of God to take up from there and God we bless you and thank you for listening to me sisters and brothers thank you so much wow somebody celebrate Jesus for such a powerful moment somebody celebrate Jesus if you are celebrating Jesus, you can do better than that on Imo. Ah, on Facebook, on TikTok, let me see people typing. Your time, your moment has come. And God is moving for somebody today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every mountain. Every mountain that has cost you in to have tears today. I speak upon that mountain in the name of Jesus. Today, receive the grace to conquer that mountain of addiction, that mountain of poverty, that mountain of sickness. Wherever you are and you believe in my God, receive the grace to overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. That was so powerful. Somebody celebrate the woman of God, chair lady celebrate her in the name of jesus you can pull the best siren for her in the mighty name of jesus christ that was a very powerful message that message alone can bring about a deliverance in your life in your family in every area of your life today 
I believe somebody on TikTok, on Facebook, those that were here on Emo, you have received your portion today and your life will never be the same again in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Beleria Shatazoko Payada. Molio Tieno. You see, I was looking at you like this and the Lord God opened my eyes. And God told me, tell Molly that he will no longer be a victim because I'm seeing you becoming a victim. I don't know if what I'm saying has any sense to you, Molly. You can unmute. Feel free. Feel free. But I'm seeing you is like people have been taking advantage of your presence. Are you there, Molly? I don't know if you can hear me, Molly, wherever you are. But the Lord told me, tell Molly Otieno that today she will no longer be a victim. She will no longer be a victim. Because many other times you have found yourself in a, something like a relationship. But the moment you find yourself there, you, you come to find out that you are but just a victim. I don't know if I'm making sense, Molly or Tieno. I can't hear you. Yeah. I'm uh, around. Uh, re remove the Bluetooth. Are you using Bluetooth or earphone? No, I don't have earphones. Oh, okay. Put your phone closer then so that I can hear you. You have, you have a very wonderful voice. Let people know you are here today. In the name of Jesus. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense to you, Tieno. It's making sense. I saw something like Muso. I don't know if it is Muso or Muso. Is it a name of a person or a place? What? I saw a name like Muso. Where? <laughs> hey, Molly. Molly is asking me where I saw that name. <laughs> Do you know any name like Muso? Something Muso. Do you know any name by a name Muso? Do you know anybody or anything by this name Muso? Yeah, a friend. Who is she to you? Just a friend, but it's like uh, three to four months we don't talk. I need to pray for this man Muso. Where did you live her the last time you talked? Oh, she's, uh, she's a lady. She's uh, in Saudi Arabia. I need to pray for Mso because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a kind of a wave, like a dark cloud. Trying to hover around this lady. And I saw her even at a point losing a lot of money. And the Lord instructed me to pray for this soul. Huh. Because I'm seeing, do you know her story? I'm seeing her having a lot of tears. I don't know how to live. She's a Kikuyu Amigo, but we don't know. By the I wish. Late, we don't talk. Around yeah. three to four months. Ah, she has children. Yeah, she's got two daughters. I need to pray for her because what I saw is like I saw I saw her uh I saw like her and her children being abandoned. And I saw her in tears. Next time you talk to Muso, tell her the man of God said that her life is changing in a mighty special way one thing that god is going to establish in her life is money 
And because as I'm talking about money, I'm seeing the same issue with you. It's like sometimes you 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 have not nothing to show over your hard work. Huh? Yeah. So your life has been your life has been is like anytime somebody looks at you, you look uh, like you are okay, but deep down you are in distress, in pain and in losses. I don't know if I'm making sense of Mori or Tieno. I don't know what JB means. Is that a name also? What? JB. I don't understand. It's okay. Now, from today, I speak a pop life. But sometimes I've seen some attacks on your head. It's like it's like some regular headaches. I don't know if I'm making sense, uh, Molly. Oh my god, oh my god. That headache thing doesn't it's hmm? something so serious. I saw a serious attack on the your head. Is too much. Hmm? But today the Lord says healing is your portion from where you are. Even pain mm. now, even pain in your head right now. Right now, no. From today, Molly, there will be no headaches in the name of Jesus. Do you hear me? Amen. No Amen. more in Jesus' name. You are totally delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ, as I speak it from where you are, experience it right about now. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Because sometimes when you are feeling this headache, it's like even your eyes, at a point, they are affected. I don't know if I'm making sense. I take too much, I take too much, uh, too much painkillers, it doesn't end. From today, no more. In the name of Jesus. From Amen. today, no more. Do you know anybody by the name Julius? Huh? Julius. A friend to my brother. Julius. I had a name like Redeemed. Does he go to church? This Julius. Yeah, right now, I'm not in, not in Kenya. Wow. God is settling this man. Because I'm seeing a serious assignment upon his life. And the Lord tells me that out of him will come a reverend. Out of him will come a great man of God. That will serve God in this generation. In a very powerful dynamic way. So says the spirit of the Lord. From today Molly, your money issue is settled. You will not again become a victim in relationships. That spirit that frustrates your relationships from today, it is broken. In the name of Jesus, from where you are, receive your freedom in Jesus' mighty name. It is done. It is done. If you have anybody that is sick, uh, Facebook, on TikTok, just type I'm sick, I'm going to pray for you and the Lord is going to set you free right now. I just wish we have people, Shayla, somebody give Shayla a seat very quickly. I wish we have people who are sick. Take number nine, Shayla. You are here, you are sick. I raise up your hand on TikTok, type me, on Facebook, type me. I am here to pray for you and the Lord will heal you right about now. Shayla, what is the issue with you? For me, I'm fine, but it's about my sister I told you. She's here. Your sister is here? Yes. Come. Tell her to come. Somebody give Shayla's sister a seat. What is her problem? Come, come, come. Grace Lee. Take number eight. Just click. Just, just touch on that number eight. It will tell you. Take seat. Take that seat. And don't mute. Uh, click on number eight very quickly, Gracie, because of time. 
Ah. I want to talk to as many people as possible. My people on Facebook are saying the network is hanging. How are you, Grace? <coughs> Grace, how are you? I'm fine. Ah, today your day has come. You will be liberated. Yes. You will be liberated in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ha. Huh. You see, I hear the heavens opening upon your head. Uh, somebody saying she's having a, a serious backache. I'm coming. That backache is leaving you now. Now, in the name. Now, I see the heavens open for you, Gracie. Amen. And the Lord God told me to tell you that things in your life are going to be in alignment in the name of Jesus. Amen. I prayed for your son. Is he healed? Huh? I don't have a son. I have a oh. I don't have a son. Which which one uh, was I praying for? I remember praying for your baby, maybe. Maybe Malin, but you haven't oh, prayed for me. Malin. Oh, the other sister to Shayla. Ah. How is do you talk? How how yeah. is my, how is the son? Oh. Is he healed? Oh, that's Mag. Yes, is the son healed? I don't know because I have not communicated with them. Ah. It's okay. You see, yes. every spirit that drags your life backward. Right now, it is broken. Because you have a thing. You have a thing to go back. Even sometimes, it's like when you go, when you go ahead, even in relationship, you find yourself, you don't want it, but it's like you find yourself even like reaching out to the former boyfriends or something. I don't ever making sense, uh, Grace. It's correct. It's true, Pastor. I'm seeing a spirit that tries to pull you back. It's like today you will make a choice. Tomorrow you will begin to regret. Why did I do this? Huh? <laughs> yes, it's this, like that. This is a very serious spirit. And today the Lord told me that it is broken. Every spirit of backwardness in your life right now. It is broken and you are being settled in the name of Jesus. I'm, as I'm speaking and making this declaration, so shall it be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Nathaniel, I saw somebody trying, it's like, somebody was trying to, to con you money. Too? Not you. I'm talking to somebody here on TikTok. Oh. Mish Daniel. It's like I saw somebody. It's like most of the time people try to come to you to extract money from you. you know what I'm saying is making sense. You can type for me there uh, Mish Nathaniel. Now Gracie, I saw the heavens opened and the Lord God told me that you are entering in your season. Of celebration you are entering into a season of celebration which nathaniel is saying it is true i'm coming you see you have been in tears and i'm seeing election it's like people let you you fight for attention i don't know if i'm saying making sense to you uh jared it's that spirit of neglection is broken right up now the Lord told me he is sharpening your voice. 
and one of the days that you will be working for losses because most of the time i'm seeing your hard work being ruined like wasted huh yes at some point it's like you can work for somebody like this after work now it's like you, you begin to beg for salary i don't know if i'm making sense gracie said to me and hear me well today if i be a man of god i decree and i declare in the name of jesus christ in the presence of Amen. everybody here on tiktok on facebook on emo today your life is taking a new turn favor is coming your way in the name of jesus favor is coming your way because i'm seeing like the enemy has taken peace it's like you are not at peace at all you are just afraid. I don't know if what I'm, I'm saying is making any sense to you. Are you still there? Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense to you because I'm, I'm Thank sensing you. it's like there is no peace. I'm seeing a lot of fear. What, are, what, what is happening? Maybe you can make us understand. My dad has been telling me that I'm not his child. <laughs> uh, uh. Now, today, let me change your life. Why? Why is he saying so? Huh? There is, there is a time. You didn't send him money. Yes, I did it. <laughs> uh, listen, I want to change your life today. He'll be the one coming to you, begging you. Put your hand on your head. I don't want to waste time. I want to bring your season into your time right now. Father, Amen. I declare, declare today. I announce Gracie Jarrett today. I announce her victorious. I usher her into her season tonight in the name of Jesus. From today, anything that holds her from prospering and excelling, let it be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, move for your servant. I declare her victorious. May he from today conquer any challenge that is limiting her life in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God move and locate your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I have spoken in the power of today. Let the anointing God locate your life right now in Jesus' name. Favor Amen. from where you are working, favor in your family, favor in Jesus' name. Experience it in the name of Jesus Christ. It is that settled, it is settled. I'm seeing like sharp pains just above your ribs. I don't know if you are having any funny pain on your stomach. Gracie, be quick, be quick, you are still there. Yes. Do you have any, yes. are you having any strange pains on your, on your stomach? Yes, even I have not eat now. God is setting you free right now. Are you in pain? Huh? I'm not getting you well. Are you in pain right now? Yes. Put your hand there.
Tell me what is happening. How can I explain it? <laughs> it's somehow eating, going, coming back, eating, going, coming back. <laughs> yeah, you can just say it is reacting. <laughs> yeah. Ah, put your hand there right now. Let me give you a final dose. Oh God. Let me give you a final dose right now under the influence of my voice. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Total healing from the crown of your head to the very sole of your soul of your feet. Let the healing of God occupy your body in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name. What is how do you feel right now? Better. <laughs> what, what do you mean better? <laughs> hey. How is the back? Now can you do what you will not do? Is the pain still there? That is what I want to understand. Be quick, be quick. If it is there, just tell me, man of God, it is still there. Be quick to respond. What is happening? To me, I feel it's gone, but um, if I sit down, I, right now, I'm in bed. Oh, God. How do you know it is not there? Because I don't want you to call me and tell me, man of God, please. I want us to, to be done here. Yeah. Uh,
the Lord God said that that scheme of the devil is cancelled in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just saw somebody here on TikTok. It's like your money is stuck. I don't know who that 